Hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? Today is... Uh, July 29th, 2024. It is a Monday today. I hope everyone is having a good Monday so far, or maybe it's not your Monday. You are watching Active Fireball on twitch.tv slash Active Fireball, or on YouTube, just find Active Fireball. Maybe probably watching the VOD, most likely. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7.30 in the morning Pacific Standard Time to 9.30 in the morning Pacific Standard Time. What did we get done last episode? Last episode, we crossed the Gorelia Fortress. No, we didn't. We crossed... The checkpoint? The twin... Dra we crossed the twin, twin Dragon's Bridge into Crossbell Territory. We are on the way to Gorelia Fortress because we want to talk to the person in charge, Elliot's dad, to figure out what's going on and also to just generally ask, is there anything we can do to help? While on the way to see Elliot's dad, we came across this weird temple that we're in. What's the point of the temple? I don't know. But we did get the thingy for, I think, Fee and Machias? So now Fee and Machias can do overdrive. Additionally, we just finished this big cool chest. Look at the reflection on the ground, that's interesting. That's not the reflection, is it? It's just the, 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 the sheen of the spirit energy. And so we're here, because I'm curious. I don't know exactly what this is for. I don't know why it's here. I don't know what it's for, what it's here, but I'm curious to see what's going on. So this episode, we're going to be exploring the temple and seeing what else there is to explore. Then we are going to continue on our little quest mm. to find Elliot's dad. And I'm glad I came this way. Um, because I got cool quartz. And I understand that this stream is gonna be a little, this VOD technically is gonna be a little bit shorter. Get cocky. I'll handle it. And the stream is gonna be a little bit shorter. Most likely that's just because um, I had to be on the phone with my vet and actually on hold and they're like, hey, hey, my cat's sneezing a lot. Can it also be in the appointment with my other cat? And they're like, no. Sorry, I thought I was gonna see. So they're like, no. However, um, they're like, no. However, you're more than welcome to just bring your cat in at 1.30 on a separate appointment. And I'm like, I guess. So part of it was I just had to be on hold for an obscenely long time. And then, yeah. So that's how it is. You're open. And Layla has an appointment at 11 this morning. And the appointment for Layla is about like, what kind of, oh, it's almost, it happened when we got Cecilia. Cece. CC, um, oh, you actually might be in range of the fire. Hold on, I'm just gonna stay here. CC, hi, Cecilia. Once we got Cecilia about like two months ago, Layla just kind of stopped eating food. Not food, that's not the stuff, not food. She stopped food. eating. <laughs> she stopped wanting okay. churu and greenies. Which I found kind of weird. It's like, what cat doesn't want churus? What cat doesn't want greenies? It's kind of weird, isn't it? We aren't planning to take that monster. So, uh, I'm like, I don't know. So at first it started like a little bit like, cause we, um, I'll handle it. so in order to kind of, um, when we got Layla, in order to entice her to get in more of the house, we would give her treats at 8 p.m. So we'd give der derivative treats, and so they eventually knew, you know, when it was true time, they loved it. My turn. Then we got Cecilia what? about two months ago. And ever since we got Cecilia, <gasps> Layla has slowly stopped right. wanting to eat Chiru. 
So at first she would come over where the chew was and she'd like sniff it and kind of lick it and be like, I don't want this anymore. Then she would go away. Uh, eventually she also stopped eating Try greenies. Uh, what's going on? Maybe, you know, you just weren't, you're not having a good day today. Who knows? But as time went on, she just stopped eating more and more. She would sniff it. Nope, she didn't like it. Give her greenies. We tried an alternative dental chew. She didn't like that. It's like, is there something wrong with your teeth, little girl? So now, um, well, she has a vet appointment today, so we can actually see what's going on. And then with uh, Cecilia, for about the past month, um, every so often she has these sneezing fits where Joe she will sneeze lots of times in a row. So there's that. And so we're like, all right, well, maybe she should actually, so she did it once, I'm like, that's, okay, whatever. She did second time, and then she uh, did some more, I think, last week. I'm like, okay, Cecilia, you need to go to the vet. And so with this, they're like, well, it might be contagious. So for Cecilia, I've been in the car and call them, tell them that I'm here. And then they'll lead me in so I don't bring Cecilia inside because, you know, it might be contagious. What's that's going on today? I don't have any coffee. I'm sad. In other news, my wife did finish Pokemon Blue yesterday. It was super fun. She had a full team of six. It was really great, really fun to watch. And it was fun. So take go to, if you want to see, go to patreon.com slash active fireball. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's fucking weird. I like how they just pull out their weapons, just like, ah. This one's dangerous. Whatever. I guess. Let's move. Um. So if you want to see my wife play and finish Pokemon Blue, feel free to go into patreon.com slash active fireball and it's all there for free. It is even in an ex uh, collection. Which means y'all can just watch right there. Technically, when that's at the point of this stream, the last episode isn't uploaded. It's edited and rendered, just not uploaded. So, watch out for that. Da 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 da. Uh -huh. Everyone, kind of stay in your way, stay in your area. That's all I want. Oh, so you're weak against the other elements. Oh, you're weak against wind. Oh, okay, I can do this. I'll have attacks of I have attacks of wind though. Try this! Wait, Marcus? Oh, you're stoned. Oh. Let's move. Alright, well, we'll see how this works. Gonna go through this this thing. I hope it works. And delays people. Speak lies. My turn. Okay, so they can be blind and slept. Oh, and stat down and delay. Um, that's kind of it, huh? Uh, we need to just pay. We just need to like make it so you don't bear cure him all on the and everything. There we go. That works. Okay. Uh, you're on a crit. Oh my god. Uh fuck. Oh, that's that's but in yourself. Mm, can I move you? If I move. We're gonna we're gonna miss the critical though. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use Ellie on the crit. I'm sorry everyone. I guess I could use Rain on Let's the crit. Move. That was my fault. Um actually no. Now I can delay you all. Which is what I'm looking for. Leave this to me. Um, and you need to heal people with energy shell. 
I guess us. Thanks. You're welcome. I'll handle it. Oh, uh, I need to save Reen on the for the crit. You also have a lot of AOEs. I've realized you have a butt fuck of AOEs. But I need to use Reen on the crit so we don't die. Too slow. There we go. I used Reen. I did the thingy. Okay. What? Why did I heal? Uh. I'm very confused. I'm very confused, but um, I'll take it. Let's move. So I'm like, gee, I'm gonna get like no work done today. Cause of my one-on-one -on -one at turn. 10, once the one-on-one -on -one is done, I'm gonna head straight to VCA. That's at 11, we can get back like 12, 12, 15. Probably not an hour, maybe 12. Um, and I'm gonna work to like 115 and then drop it out. Oh, so I'm, I'm not gonna work that much today. Just fine, I guess. Um, attack. You. Uh, yeah. Oh, Here God, no. Da 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 da. Okay, right, everything's a crit. Now. Move. Oh. Can I actually delay them as well, like for an indefinite period, for a definite period, defined period of time? Also, I didn't know if they would stay where they are, but they are totally staying where they are. The characters, when they start the overdrive, they're just, they stay where they are. So they don't stay. They start the overdrive where they are in the battle. And that's neat. Uh, move forward a little bit, please. And I want you turn. to move forward a little bit, please. My turn. Huh. My turn. And we're gonna use Arc Slash on all y'alls. There we go. And we got a miss. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. Huh. And then that should be the rest of them. Okay. So I'm a tiny bit sad. So I've reduced the amount of food in my breakfast. Um, I have been eating too much food for my breakfast and maybe dinner. Targets eliminated. Or just eating Let's too much food overall in the day. So I've been gaining some weight. Did it. Done. So <laughs> what I did, exactly so I have pasta in the morning. So I <laughs> use about one egg per day. So I make, every week I make pasta and make seven eggs worth of pasta, right? And then once that's done, um, when I cook it in the morning, I add um, four tablespoons of butter. It's fucking delicious. I mean, I add sunflower seeds, tablespoons of butter, spinach, pork. It's all delicious. Uh, but it wasn't. But I'm like, I took put on my pants after like a string of PJs, and felt my waist and was like, ooh, ooh boy, okay. Okay, I have been eating, uh, hold on. I've been eating too much food, so. I have reduced the number of eggs I use per week by one, and I've also reduced the amount of butter I'm using by three tablespoons. So I only have one tablespoon of butter instead of three. One reason why I reduced the butter is, uh, there's a hundred calories per tablespoon of butter. I had no idea. So I was consuming, like, probably like 8,000 calories, maybe like eight, uh, four. Oh, 800, 900 calories for breakfast? I don't fucking know if it's more than that. So I'm like, okay, it was delicious, but I need to solve this. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Whew. I wasn't expecting us to be attacked the moment we walked into the room. They were pretty tough, but look on the bright side. We won at least. You think they were protecting that door? Maybe. Oh, it's the thingy in the stone dungeon. 
Hmm? It looks kind of familiar. Does it? Yeah, we've seen that emblem somewhere before. I know where to. In the underground part of the old schoolhouse. Damn, you're right. It's a perfect match even. But then, what's something like this doing here? I don't think we're going to get anything out of, e out of either of them, as usual. Well, it's not like we can do anything about it. This is as far as we can go. We should probably head back outside. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. Let's keep going to the fortress. Celine, you know something. Oh! Ooh. What the? It feels like something's flowing inside me. The village is burning. We believe it to be the work of the Gunner Army. This is a new song. The, the, the aim was supposedly to force out enemy combatants who were hiding here. Just for that. Just for that. Innocent people had their homes burned, their lives taken from them. Is this truly what war is all about? Your Highness, let us depart. We cannot allow these meaningless sacrifices, this foolish war, to go on a moment longer. Yeah, war sucks. More for some people. For other people, it makes them money. What was that? Was I hallucin hallucinating? No, it felt more... What's wrong, Ming? We need to hurry back outside. We've spent too long inside here as it is. Oh yeah, sorry. I'll be right there. This isn't the time to figure it out. I'd better put it out of my mind for now. Celine knows what's going on. Oh, and my AP increased by three. Fancy. We're awesome. I'm just gonna transport right back to where we need to go. So this is the Terra Shrine. Oh, you all know what I did this weekend on Sunday? You know you don't because I didn't tell you. I did three hours of yard work. Three hours. Like, holy fuck, Darren. Well, it turns out well, the forest where we are. Like, the tiny forest. There's like 16 trees and it's really nice. I love it. You've probably heard it before if you've been listening to me talk about it forever. And uh, we're doing our best to upkeep it. It's hard most because we're kind of not we haven't paid that much attention to it recently in like the f years we've lived here and so weeds grow one of those weeds is blackberry bushes and oh my fucking god I hate those so much um and I remember as as we had this house we would see the blackberry bushes and they were big they weren't like uh, an impenetrable fortress, but there were there were a good number of long ones in, in the forest. So I made it a duty of mine to just pick them out. Pick the big ones out, and now even pick the small ones out. So I think we'll two months fight. ago, Let's move. my wife and I were like, all right, let's go outside, get some yard work Never done. Chance. So I went outside and picked up, uh, uh, picked out all the blackberry bushes I'll I could find, it. right? And then, uh, I think Saturday, turn. we were outside in the fairy forest putting down benches because my wife made benches for the forest. And we're like, ooh, this is cool. Is and as we were walking around finding where to put the benches, I saw a lot of the blackberry bushes that started to grow. They were all like sprouts and seedling sprouts. But still, I was like, I don't like how many there are. There are. I don't. I don't. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Thanks. So on Sunday, it's I woke up turn. and I was like, "All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna Another pick up all these blackberry bushes." I'll get you up. If I picked up only the blackberry bushes, I would not have been there for thirty hours. I'd have been there for like maybe an hour at most. But what I did instead Here I go. was, um, God damn it, man. I weeded a lot as well. I also saw kind of, kind of extreme weeding, okay. you could say. Got Got you. Because it's a fairy forest and it's a forest with trees, there's a lot of newly fallen straw. And these weeds would take up, take up residence in the fallen debris. So, 
getting the weeds out was simply just raking my hand over the Enemy over the debris sighted. and Let's usually everything just comes out I'll absolutely fine so I gloves on I did that so there was an area where um we have some we had a pest control company <laughs> so I've been getting spam calls probably should actually continue my story for a stump so um normally I would have just um All right, so we have um, uh, past people come over every like once a month to look at all the baits that they put on our house and fill them, you know, fill them with need, that kind of thing. And one of them is in the fairy forest. Uh, and the person out. trekked through all the weeds, okay. and I could see the path that they took to get to where the bait was or is technically. I was like, well, if I was this person, I wouldn't want to do this. And so I weeded out the path that they took and then also around the base of the tree so they could easily, you know, see it. But then I was like, well, between the two benches, there's this path that we could walk on, but it has all the weeds. So let's weed that further between the two benches. There's all these dead branches that I cut that I cut out, but, you know, I didn't do anything with. So I'm like, well, let's move these branches. So I moved them to a different place. But then I leaf load everything and I did more weeding as, you know, I found some weeds I didn't take out. Um, and then after that, you know, once I, you know, once all the dirt was on the, on our driveway, I then, uh, leaf load the driveway and then I cleaned it all up. And so I sat there for about three hours. About that, not about, I was three hours on the mark pretty, pretty, pretty much. And I learned something about my hair that day. Um, don't get it wet unless I'm going to wash my hair. My it hair is, is an absolute monstrosity. And if it just gets wet, if it gets wet, it's gonna tangle. That's it. My so turn. if I'm gonna get it wet, most likely I should just shampoo it. Which then makes me wonder, what about like if I go swimming? How am I gonna deal with that? I don't know. It's my turn. So another story. So I've been getting Is a few calls. Uh, one Great. of them was now, I guess, from a company or a ad agency or whatever to find to be like oh hey we found some you know the rules for medicare and medicaid have changed and we offer this cool thing do you want it it's like the th i've been to call like three times and it's a real person it is totally a real per i think it's a real person it sounds like a real person i don't know but every time i'm like no i'm not interested or i go i'm not old enough for that and they're like oh unfortunately you don't qualify goodbye and leave i'm like Enemy sighted. why I, why out. do you think i qualify for medicare and medicaid in the first place too slow now got you it's over let's move this time it was about like a program that can help reduce funeral costs, but it was from, I think it was the same lady. Uh, it sounds like the same lady. And so I replied as they're like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, why do you keep calling me? And they're like, oh, blah, we're here for this. How old are you? And I replied, not old enough to need that. And then they just hung up. I don't know what's going on with this company. Whatever. Okay, it's just always fun to get the call and like. Try this. I was like, where where did you get the information that I am old enough where I need med where I'm on Medicare or Medicaid? <laughs> oh, and to the people who are like not in the United States, um, who you know get like free healthcare and that cool shit like that. Um. I might be wrong. I'm not looking this up because I'm lazy as fuck. But my what I believe is Medicare and Medicaid is the health care that people sign up to when they retire and they actually don't have a job. But but yes, yeah, so remember, health care in America comes with a job treasure chest. We could get private health. We could get health care ourselves and pay for our health care ourselves. But that is more expensive, probably. And on top of that, from what I've heard as well, since you're not backed by a company, we can just get more money out of you if we want. 
So usually uh, our health care is tied Enemy to our employer. And if we're not employed, we have to actually get health care. If we don't have to get health care, we are be penalized in taxes. So, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. I'll handle it. Got it. Sure. I'll take that. Yay! Oh no, wrong one! I I can I always forget okay. which one is an AoE and which ones aren't an AoE. <laughs> if I believe they're an AoE, I not necessarily so yeah. I continue to forget. A Reaper, nice. I continue to forget what S crafts are everyone versus an AoE. If I think that an S craft will hit everyone, I just press the X button. Like, let's fucking go. But as you see, luckily that one, I got everyone, so that's fine. I got the enemies <laughs> in the attack, but sometimes I don't. I'm like, oopsies, I don't goofed. So yeah, Medicare, Medicaid, and this time it was about like funeral costs. I'm like, where, where, like, where, what, what mailing list have you bought that makes now you believe chance. this? Unless, of course, they're, like, looking up old tax information and they're, like, at a previous owner. But the previous owners also weren't old enough to have Medicare or Medicaid either. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. So. Oh, well. My turn. I only have 20. Makes sense. I just did a fucking, like, S-Craft thing, so... It's my turn. Uh, what is one here? Weak against wind? I don't have an AoE wind. Do I have like an AoE thing? Like an AoE attack? Wow, Darren, your voice sucks today. I'm just gonna attack and see what happens. Mm, whatever. It's my turn. Uh, yeah, it works. Okay. <sighs> it's and turn. then just attack. There we go. <laughs> also, everyone, it's raining outside, or at least it was raining, and it smells, and outside smells amazing. Super excited for how it smells because it just smells so good. I am excited to go outside. And also, my wife finished her vac out, vacation. She, her first day back at work was today. And both her and I are sad. I enjoyed it when she was home. Like, she was more happy, just relaxed. And I could do things like, oh, I don't play Frost Haven today. I know it's on Saturday. She's like, well, you know, I'm on vacation. Yeah, let's totally right, play. Let's it was really fun. I quite enjoyed it. She was just more active. She spoke to me more. I got to talk to her more. It was, in general, a good day. Which then makes me go, uh... <sighs> Finally here. Which makes me again kind of want to. Yeah, um, that was a longer walk than I was expecting too. Bring up the idea of her not working anymore. Additionally, not that, but also just going somewhere else, like emigrating somewhere else outside of the United States, a place where like the money that I have is will go much farther. So I was reading places like Bali and Mexico where. Like, for a couple, the average expense is $2,000 a month. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I saw, like, just Bali, for example, there was a house that's about the size of this house, but has an acre lot for less than half of this house. So I'm like, we, so we bought this house for, like, for five fifty, dollars and a house in Bali was about $250,000. Then, um, right now, according to the assessor, it's worth like 700. So, like, 700 minus what we owe on the house. So, seven, like, you know, 300,000 left. And then we pay, you know, all the real estate people and moving. Like, we could probably buy a house, like, something like that that's cheaper. It's like, if I did buy a house, I'd still have to work, maybe? I don't know. It's just, just like, I'm just so tired. I'm tired that the norm is working, and the 
um, exceptional days are the vacations. Right? Well, it shouldn't be reversed where we just have a wonderful, fun life, but then every so often we do have to work so we can, you know, not die and have money. Wouldn't that be much better? Like everyone's who watching or watching the pod is like, yeah, Dan, that'd be great. And in America, you can do that if you're rich enough. And I'm, I have plenty of money and I can't do that. It sucks, but I wonder if I could get to a point where we can reverse it, where most of the days I'm enjoying myself and there's some like maybe one, or, you know, like a three month span, something, do some hard work so I can continue the rest of my life just having fun. Have a look into it, see what happens. I do enjoy that the game says you can't go back. I do like that. It's like at one point, um, at one point, so like, do you have the argument of, well, it's a video game, and if they don't know what's going on, we also shouldn't know what's going on. But as a player, I like being told that because I don't know where the boundaries are of you can't come back here. Also, if I'm playing a new game, I don't know if you can ever go back to places you, you leave. Skies of Arcadia has two places you can't know. Three? Places you can't go back to. One of them you can, but then it's reconfigured. And thus, you can actually miss the chest. Um, the other two, I can't say because they're spoilers. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, we're gonna see the giant hole. Yeah, right there. Look at that. That's just a hole. It's just missing. Oh, it was a look at the mountain past it, too. Oh, because it was a sphere. That's not the mountain. That's the fortress. That's the inside of the fortress. That's a sphere. Okay. Was it, wasn't wasn't this tool used in Trails in the Sky 1? I vaguely remember something like that from Trails in the Sky, in Trails in the Sky 1. It's like someone took a giant ice cream scoop to it. I mean, I had heard what happened, but yeah, none of that prepared me for the reality of how it looked in person. The place you can see in the distance must be Crossbell City. Uh, but what the, what's that blueberry surrounding it? Well, according to the info I got from the guild, Crossbell's got some kind of new power. And we're talking big, absolute power. No one's got a clue how the damn thing works, though. It sounds terrifying. Yeah. Anyway, the power was what allowed them to do this to Gorelia. It's also what's putting up that barrier around the city. Thanks to that, no other country on the continent, Erebony included, can touch them. The concept alone is so out of this world. I thought my source was just messing with me, but now, yeah, you can't doubt what's right before your eyes. Please, I'm willing to bet Ouroboros is involved in whatever's happening here. Wouldn't surprise me. Whatever happened in Crossbell, it's happening out, uh, yeah. It happened at about the same time the war broke out in Erebonia. So there's every chance they're behind both. Unbelievable. There's a lot for us to take in, and a lot of questions that need answering. But right now, I think we should focus on re reuniting with the 4th Armored Division. We can think about what to do next once we've met with them. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The Proving Ground is on the opposite side of the fortress, right? Then we should head farther inside and... Oh, you done <gasps> goofed! What was that sound? Don't move, Machias! Why? <laughs> what the hell? It's trapped. It was a new model mine. <laughs> Thought so. Uh, yeah, I guess they're short enough that, uh, you really can't make that happen without some clipping. I wonder if the devs are just like, fuck it, if we're just gonna see it once in the game, we'll have her leg clip through her stomach. Come out, you two! I know you're there! <laughs> oh, uh, you noticed. 
You haven't lost your touch, Fee. Eh, it's up to you two. Weren't those two in Heimdall during the National Address? They were. And they were with Duke Cayenne and LeGram. I knew it. Long time no see, Fee. Uh, yearish, I guess. <laughs> Still pint size, but you've grown a bit taller, at least. Her muscular strength, reflexes, and agility have also remarkably improved. I don't, I don't think that voice goes to that character, but I do believe that this is the same voice as uh, Vice Count Roy, where whoever Laura's dad is. Uh, yeah, I haven't checked, but also it's too early in the game and I don't want to check. There's no stopping the flow of time, I suppose. Careful, guys. That's Zephyr's emblem on their jackets. Wait, Zephyr? That's the Jaeger Corfi was with. Huh? Where's the third one? There's no need to be so on guard. Right? Remember the book from Tales of Cold Steel 1? Jaeger Corpse. Always working threes, not twos. We just want to enjoy our long-awaited reunion with an old friend and comrade. How about you, Fee? Miss us? You're the same as ever. Although, if you keep using traps to kick off reunion parties... You won't have any friends left before long. Right? Ah, don't be like that. That's just my way of saying hi. Thought it'd bring you back to the good old days when you used to play with them for practice. And I only set the one, so give me a break, okay? What have you said more? Well, whatever. How can we believe you? You look good, Leo. I'm glad. Well, we haven't changed half as much in the span of a year as you do. Adults have a lot less room for growing, after all. I'm already 15, you know. Where have you two been all this time? She was 14 in Trails of Cold Steel 1. Oh my god, that's insane. I tried to find out where you'd gone after you all disappeared, but it was like you vanished from the continent. Who knows? Anyway, uh, let's let the past stay in the past, yeah? So, uh, you up to anything fun? We're giving the Noble Alliance guys lessons on how to pilot those soul dots better these days. It ain't the most exciting gig in the world. They're not interested in learning from a couple of Jaegers, but they suck at piloting them even when they do listen, so whatever. <laughs> it's like, oh, money's money, so who gives a fuck? Oh. These two are Jaegers, right? They sure don't seem that way. You know, I mean, uh, I, I would think the same, not the same thing, but Machias did this a lot in... I mean, it's not starting sentence that way. Machias has strong ideas of how people should act. Nobles act like nobles. They're stuck-up little brats. Commoners act like commoners. They're all really nice and care for each other. In this game right here, Machias and Jaegers are Jaegers. They're probably, like, bloodthirsty, hungry villains. Machias does have some background though in Trails of Cold Steel 1 he did come in contact with many Jaegers who just played the game for money and that's it weren't talkative weren't conversational it's like we're here fuck you so I guess it also makes makes sense that Machis is thinking this with all the experiences he's seen so far with Jaegers what is Zeno's voice? I, I want to know what that voice is. That is a nice voice. Zeno by Evan Smith. All right, don't look at any, anything else. Oh, he's done a lot of stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. You've done a lot. He's done a lot of anime and shows. Almost no games. Uh, He's J Genpei in Zero Time Dilemma. Oh, he's the male player in... London Mark and Tyranny. 
Oh, so he's he's Zeno in all of the games. That's who he is. Um, in shows, uh, Monster High. He did a lot of stuff in Monster High and then High Guardian Spice. All right, so this is a fairly new voice actor. Well, they're old friends of Fee's. They might seem friendly, but don't let your guard down. Zephyr's up there together with the Red Constellations, one of the strongest cores in Zemuria. They're the real deal. Could have fooled me. So these are the people Fee lived with before she joined us. Okay, I think we better wrap up the family reunion. Wish we could catch up with you a little while longer, but unfortunately, we've got a job to do, and work takes priority. To confirm, you have no intention of withdrawing. None. We're here with conflicting goals. That makes us enemies. And that gives us no choice but to fight with everything we've got. <laughs> Trust you to know how this works. Oh, that's huge. That is also big. Oh, that's like the thing um, What kinds of had. weapons are those? Not Victor. Fuck, I forgot his name already. A blade rifle and a mechanized gauntlet? All right, let's have some fun. You ready, kiddos? Fight with everything you have. Unless you want to end up in as many pieces as this fortress. Oh, boy. Okay, now I can believe they're really Jaegers. These two served as regimental commanders back in the Corps. Our odds of winning are 20%. Oh. I'm not sure I like those odds. Like them or not, we have no choice but to bet on those odds. Let's give this all we got. Yeah, I don't like when people say that. You go, oh, it's this much, it's this. Well, let's get started. Show us what you can do. Okay, good music though. Oh, they are both just. Elemental efficacy is low. Okay, oh my god. Um, they also can't do anything. They also don't get anything. Okay. Uh, we need Elliot to do shit. And, uh... You're not here. Uh, what the fuck, Elliot? Put you in front of Green. Take this. Owie! Let's move. Oh, God. Oh fuck. It's my turn. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna move right there. You ain't gonna I'll handle it. Uh so I'm like a delay attack. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a resounding beat on U3, because there's no way I can get Elliot in there. Uh my you're turn. on crit, so I wanna make sure you're not gonna be on crit. <laughs> That's horrible. Let's move. Okay. It's my turn. I'm just gonna get the fuck away from that, I guess. Totally forgot to do critical. I'm like, oh no, oh no, I forgot critical. Oh, we're not gonna get into the javelins, which suck, but. Oh. <laughs> uh... Oh, I also had Machias by accident, too. I was kind of freaking out, so um, I guess the Javelins. I don't want the Javelins to attack three times in a row. So that's kind of a waste of an S-Craft, but they're gone now. Only one of them is gone. Only one of them is gone. Oh, hey, Darren. Uh, now Machias and Elliot are... Oh, there's, they have a countdown. Okay. Ow, motherfucker! Well, um, ah, can I get through this? I don't think so. Okay. Should have been paying attention. Uh, let me do this. I really needed um, Elliot to go first, but it turns out his speed is kind of tiny, so, uh, okay. Let 
Okay. And um, I don't know if you can see anything yet, so we're just going to wait until we get to the loading screen and then see if you can see anything. I mean, I guess I could move my chat out of the way, but why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? Why don't you just be lazy and wait? Oh, all right. You all can't see that. That's okay. Uh... That's super weird. I wonder what is happening that makes um, it kind of impossible, not impossible, they're rid of like the, either the capture card loses the signal or OBS loses the signal from the capture card. Either way, um, We, uh, what's your speed? 50? Oh, wow. We have a lot. Oh, we have a lot of people have not a lot of speeds. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Wow, fancy. Okay. Um. You need an action. You have an action key. You have an action one, which is great, I guess. Do you have any other, like, let's make your speed go up? Because that would be nice. I can Reaper. Uh. <laughs> but I know that I don't have enough of anything for that. Like. I know I could equip Reaper. Sorry, sorry. What I mean is, I might have the Sepith to equip Reaper, but I don't have, um, if I do that, I probably don't have enough Sepith to do anything else. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One more cats is barfing. I could. Well, we don't have the one Machias came came with usually, which is uh. There we go. Yeah, the higher your remaining HP, the less damage received. Um, I like this idea because if we can keep somebody healed. And they're only gonna attack that person, but I really d I didn't notice many single attacks. I just noticed everyone kind of had AOEs. So I'm wondering if I potentially have access to a uh, uh, action two. I don't have anything else that gives me like makes my uh, my speed go up. No. So if we can upgrade this to zero to one. There, okay. Uh, Orbments, you... If I now put in Reaper... Your speed is at 55. Your speed, yeah, okay. He don't do shit. Um, evade one, which is nice. Oh, I don't have, um... Oh, uh, well, do I have any quartz that give me, um, fuck? Uh, oh, I have a defense too. I should have seen that. Um, what am I trying to do again? Insight. Uh, yeah. I don't think that gives me insight. Who has the lowest defense here? 707? Yeah, you're gonna get defense too. We kinda don't need magic now. You can be the healer. So we can give you healy heals. 
Uh, but that's not it. Do you have, um, that's Kyria? Oh no, uh, Breath. We don't have Breath, do we? No, we can use Evade. Okay. Uh, we can try this. Um, I don't, I can't buy Defense 2, can I? No, we don't have access to all the, we still only have access to level 1 stuff. There's not much we can do. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna save and we'll try this again. Uh, unless I was supposed to lose? I mean, <laughs> I mean, so like, I, uh, I, I think there's been twice in Trails of Cold Steel 1 that I, I believed I had to lose the fight, so I lost the fight, and game said, oh, game over. I'm like, oh, I actually wasn't supposed to lose this fight. Oops. What is how strong everyone is here? I'm now asking, do I need to lose this fight? But I don't know. Like, they had a lot of HP there. That was a lot of HP. Oh my god. Oh, I could actually put Ellie up in front. Uh, cause he can't move. You ain't gonna lie. Hmm. Here I go. Okay, that was a single attack. Okay. It's my turn. Um, resounding beat. There we go. Keep it up. Oh my god, that's like nothing. Leave this to me. So I have no idea what those things do. Yeah. So I'm just gonna have to figure it. I'm just gonna have to figure it out what the javelins do and basically just get away from them hmm. before they go off. Too slow. Okay, can I make you my tank again? My can I do that? Will you let me? <laughs> you know the javelins. Oh my god. That took forever and a half. Okay, you two are burn and we don't have breath. That sucks. Um uh, I think it's better to heal right now. Here we go. My turn. Just attack that. Yeah. And we can burn whatever gives a fuck. Let's move. There we go. Oh my god, Ellie, you're slow as fuck. Oh, now you're confused. Oh, you weren't supposed to be confused. Fine. Okay, Fee. I know what to do. I'll handle it. And just don't. That's okay. We will live. My turn. Uh, we we only have one Curia thing, huh? Oh, we have three Curia bombs. Okay, I'm totally doing that. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Too oh, slow. blind. Can I work on blind? Take this. Okay. Uh, that actually would be a good idea. Uh, 
Keep it open. Um. I'll handle it. If I give people blind, that actually might be a good idea. Do you only it's use one turn. javelin throw? Because I'm okay if you only use one javelin throw. Uh, you can't be petrified, and you can be petrified. If you blind, what, it's a 12-20% chance to blind? So it's much more of a, like, maybe. Uh, can you be burned? Oh my god, poison. Poison and blind, stat down, we just kind of what we need to equip, huh? Let's do that. Oh, that doesn't work either. Okay, that's fine. Um... I don't want to die. And I'm going to be on the crit, so I'm going to get burned, but I'm also going to heal. Oh my god. What should I do? Um... I can't get both, obviously. Do you not, it should, overdrive. Here goes. Overdrive. Most likely I'm going to get overdrive again in this battle. So I'm fine with, I guess, doing that. Poisoned, wonderful. Thrust, okay. And you have 15, so there's something you do. And, oh, I guess overdrive is another way to heal, huh? I'm not burned anymore. Did I lose burn because I just ran out of burn, or did this heal me? I absolutely forgot. That's fine. Um, no, damn it, Darren, wrong one. Genocide rain. Sounds horrible. Take it. Oh, Should Fee, you were supposed attention. to avoid that. Okay. Oh, we only have evasion. We don't have like any higher up evasions, do we? Oh, zero arts. Uh oh, we do have breath. Fuck, I didn't know that. Thanks. Let's move. Uh reviving bomb. On you. Thanks. Okay, T, just avoid things. That's all I want you to do. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, okay. We weren't supposed to win this. <coughs> They're monsters. They're still holding back too. Not bad for being only students. You show great potential. Hmm. Your academy training seems to have paid off. It's not easy to keep up with Fee. Ha! <laughs> you think they can handle us if we kicked it? Do you think they can handle us if we kicked it up a notch? I'm game if you are, Leo. <laughs> Who else is up for round two? Ah! Should have known they weren't even trying. That 20% is looking like zero right now. Gonna go Ultra Instinct. What do you think y'all are doing? Hey, Soul Dots. For who though? Oh, Soul Dots. The ones at the front is like the Soul Dot. Scarlet was piling near Trista. What are they doing coming from the by road? I get it now. The attack from the Transcontinental Railroad was just a diversion. They were intending to launch a surprise attack from the flank all along. What are civilians doing here? Or Zephyr for that matter? First you says the pier, then you're supposed to be taking part in our operation, and then you wind up here? But gone, you're in our way. Uh, round two's gonna have to wait, I guess. <laughs> Bummer. I was hoping I'd get a chance to try my luck against that famous knight too. I had some traps specifically made for it and everything. Oh, also, thank you, Bowl1112, for the follow. I appreciate you. You are appreciated. You'll, you'll get your chance eventually. We should stand down from now and watch from above. 
What should we do? We don't have to worry about Zeno and Lux. <clears throat> we don't have to worry about Zeno and Leo now, but we're not out of danger yet. After how much trouble it was to defeat one soul tad back near Trista, not out of danger is an understatement. Yeah, and it was one of those against all of class seven. You're gonna call Valmar the Ashen Knight? Stand back, everyone. Are you? Wait, you're gonna call Valimar? It's the only choice we have. Heed my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! You know, if you keep calling him, he's not gonna have any mana to actually, like, do shit. <sighs> What's that sound? It's coming from the sky over there. Isn't it an Imperial Army airship? What in the world? Is that a thing they mentioned in the report? I like how the soul dots are just like, just being there. We're like, oh yeah, we'll let you live while this happens. That's fine. What the? An ash colored knight? Why? Why is it here? You can't be. You really came? Whoa, this is amazing. Sorry for leaving this to you, Reen. We're counting on you. Right. You meddling brats. Go forth, my proud Drakens. Finish it off while we still can. It's no threat when it doesn't even have a weapon. Yes, sir. When is he gonna get a sword, by the way? It reminds me of a character in an RPG, and I can't tell you what that character is or the RPG, because it'll spoil shit. Okay, I shouldn't need to worry about fighting on borrowed time like before. We're up against an awful lot of them. If only we had some kind of weapon. Oh, that won't be an issue. There's plenty of potential weapons right here in front of us. Haha, <laughs> clever. If that's what you have in mind, we best concentrate our attacks on one of them and snatch it away as quickly as possible. That's the plan. Valmar, here we go. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Don't you all for this. Alright, you ready? Yeah. All right, everyone, I need to go to the bathroom, and I also uh, would like some more water. So if you could all just kind of just stay here and enjoy the music, that would be phenomenal. Okay, so we have Crafts, which is Morning Moon. Uh, evades without fail, then counters with a 30% chance to unbalance. And we have a regular attack. Changing targets. You can change targets with the L1 and R1 buttons. Okay, so I want to focus on you. These are all the same, so... Uh, body first. Body was right. That's like nothing. Okay. So I'm afraid of pressing start because I don't know if I'm going to skip a scene where they change their stance. I hope not, but we don't know. We're... I know that. Shut up. Just 
just want to see one of these for once, and then we can skip the rest. Fifteen six oh seven. That's cool if I could actually get more of them and, like, have multiple in my party. That'd be fun. <sighs> okay. Go! And that's it. Okay, they're dead. Oh, well, it wasn't for you and your meddling kids. It's down. Now, destructive impact. Do you really have to yell it? Do you really have to yell it? Huh, nicely done. Oh, the music changed. I'm just glad that it worked. This is where the real battle begins. Yeah, that's our reen. I, I wonder how loud this battle is. Like, should they be wearing, wearing ear protection? That was, that was quite an impressive plan. Oh, resonating stuff. Are your archists are your archists resonating with one another? I guess. Go ahead and show me what you can do. Oh hey, why is Fee here? You can now perform EX arts. The rest of class seven, instructor Sarah included, can influence divine knight battles by acting as secondary contractors. Contractors. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> secondary contractors. Contractors, like, like, like a subcontract or a, or a contractor? Is there a definition of contractor that I just don't know about? A person or company that undertakes a contract to provide materials or labor to perform a service or do a job. Uh, I mean, I guess you could totally say that, uh, that because they're a contractor, they provide services to Reen and the battle. The character closest to Reen will be chosen as his default battle partner. EX arts vary by character. What does that mean? The closest character. <sighs> the closest character. How? Pray tell. Um, crafts, lustrous slash, two rapid strikes, 30% chance to imbalance, flame impact, a powerful, powerful downward slash, with a 60% chance to imbalance, but we can't guard or counter. Oh, 10, wow, that's a lot more damage than your fists. I'm okay with this. Oh, it's Fee's turn to attack. Changing partners. You can change partners with the R1 plus up and down buttons. You can charge recovery self to restore 1000 EP. Spirit, recovery self 50% plus 30 CP consumes 400 EP and EX art. We have Sonic Burst, which is a uh, pink A, creates a barrier of wind, connects again quickly, or green A, attacks with blades of wind. It's a wind element. Oh, we actually actually did with the weak against two. Uh, I don't know, Sonic Burst? This, I mean, this is much. Oh, hello. Oh, yo, oh, uh, 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 what? 
for three turns or wind uh more charge what does that do again uh recovery but takes a thousand uh restores oh it restores ep as well okay oh resounding beat oh what's this one good luck no problem burst drive Breaks the time barrier, can act again quickly. Attacks with Earth's anger. Earth element. What are you weak against? Water and fire. Can you handle this? I'll try oh, at least. Was that the element? Ah, okay. <sighs> Let's go! Gotcha! Time! That's it. Just a little more. Let's go. Gotcha. I really I don't want to use the finisher because that's going to be kind of like a waste of a move. Also, your speed went away. There we go. Okay, you're done. Great. Just one more. And then uh, we need to know your head. Arms? Try your arm when you're that way. No, not arms. It's my turn. Uh, what are you weak against? Plays a healing melody. Um, you're weak against wind and earth. Earth? Sorry, why the fuck not? No problem. Huh. There we go. So it's not not your arm. Your head. Ah, it's your head when you're in that area. Okay. Enlightened domination. Oh boy. Boom, baby. Ooh, fancy. So it's not your arm. It's not your head. Is it your arm when you're this way? No, that's your body when you're like that. Or you just automatically count. I don't know. Fuck. All right, your head. Yay. Gotcha. It's my turn. Geo Quake. That's it. What? Wasn't that what it's supposed to do? You're it's not, not your head now, it's your body. Let's go. Oh well, gotcha. I won anyway. Ah, <sighs> uh, so whoever is the one prepared with currently re at the end of the battle gets the link stuff. This can't be happening. How can it be this strong? Well, what's it to be? We can do this all day if you're still not ready to give up. Yo, oh, Rain, he's got this. That he does. He's turned this whole situation around. This battle isn't over yet. We still have the advantage of numbers. If we can surround them, Victor will be ours. Enough! Oh? Oh, this is Elliot's dad, where I fucking scratch my voice when I do this. That sounds like... Well, I mean, if you want something with the sword, tanks are a great way to do that, right? Because tanks are just transportation units, so you can hit somebody with swords. You're kidding me! Ugh! How are they avoiding me? Is it head? The 4th Armored Division. How are they here? They're supposed to be dealing with the Force from the Transcontinental Railroad. Ugh, nothing more than a small diversion. And I suggest you turn and run off with your tails between your legs if you don't want to share their fate. Unless you men think you can handle the might of the 4th Armored Division. I mean, you have like five tanks. And they have robots that can not get hurt a lot. 
technically, I also believe that the Soldots still have the advantage here, unless you have some flying tanks. <sighs> Ugh, curse you, Craig. Fine, if that's how you want, we'll just have to call. What the? Are you all right, sir? A sniper, where are they? What just happened? Who the? Claire? Hi, Claire. I've oh. taken out the commander's sensor. I don't know if that's how you wield a sniper that long. Uh, shouldn't like be on the ground and all that other shit, unless I'm just missing something. What's the situation with Zephyr? Both are standing by at five o'clock. No signs of movement. Hey, Sarah. Acknowledged. Ignore them for now. Focus your attention on the highway instead. Yes, ma'am. If she can aim that precisely from that far away, we're likely in her sights too. The Icy Maiden has certainly earned her reputation. Wouldn't want to try my luck against, not right now anyway. Not much we can do while she's all the way over there. Besides, uh, I think it's about time we called it a day. We're taking off, Fee. See you some other time, okay? Be sure to keep up with your training. You'll need it if you want to make it through this war unscathed. Bye-bye. Why do those damn Jaegers think they are to retreat without orders? All units fall back. We're returning to the Twin Dragons Bridge. Yes, sir. With all the weeds, with all the gloves, I really like got all of like my wrist, my f my ah oh, fuck, my finger muscles for clenching, and my wrist for also Phew. clenching as well. Like Looks this. like we're safe now. It's sore. Hey, nice work out there. Whew. I felt uncomfortably close to death one or four too many times. At least it's all over with now. Dad, thank goodness you're all right. Elliot. That's the famous Craig the Red, huh? Looks like the real model of a scary-ass military officer. Uh, about that. That's what everyone thinks at first. Oh! My beloved gift from Adios! I love <laughs> that there is a military commander. Wh wh why did you talk? And he shows an overwhelming amount of affection for his son. And doesn't hide it either. I love that. Come here! to your father's loving embrace. In no way. I mean, I'm glad you haven't changed, but I uh, dead. Nonsense. You were raised in my arms, my boy. What's another two or three minutes more? I can tell you've lost some weight, but you're otherwise as fit as your fiddles. <laughs> fit as your fiddles, since he has fiddles. Oh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> but you're seriously hurting me now. Please loosen your grip some. That thing I said earlier, I take it back. <laughs> yeah, everyone reacts like that. Why does he have a thing on his arm? Elliot seems really happy though. What's the armband for? Yeah, it's great to see them together again. I'm pleased to see that everything went well. What's up, Claire? Uh. I thought it was you. Looks like you're from the Railway Military Police. Then you must be... It's a pleasure to see you again, Captain. <laughs> Likewise. Did the PS3 have to load in that title? And, yes, sir. I'm Captain Claire Revelt of the RMP. It sounds as though we have plenty to discuss. Perhaps in a more fitting location. Follow me, if you would. Yeah, I feel better now that I didn't have as much food in the morning. Okay, is this going to be voice acted? I'd love for this to be voice just a voice acted. That'd be fantastic, by the way. If you could do that game. Are those lights in the background? Oh, yeah, this is the training area thingy. Yeah. So...
So remember when I was talking about like a few few episodes ago about how like there was no inciting incident in Trails of Cold Steel 1, which is why it was so boring? I was thinking about it and technically kind of like there was somewhat. Because we saw uh, Comrade C talk to Comrade G a few times. And then every so often they almost like ended up around somebody who was in the Imperial Liberation Front. Then I think in Heimdall for the first time, you finally hear about the Imperial Liberation Front and then what they're going to do. And they were just kind of every chapter, they were just there and doing something. So technically that might have been the inciting incident of, hey, we're the Imperial Liberation Front and oh, hey, look, we can literally make it so we were sur we surrounded Alfin and we stole the princess. Like we can do things. You don't know that, but we totally can. Um, that might have been the inciting incident after the prelude. But it was almost like they just kind of went back into the shadows and then they came back. Maybe if I just played without streaming, I would have been able to see it and been more interested. I don't know. I'd like to begin by congratulating you on making it all the way here. I'm overjoyed to see you all again. The same to you, Captain. I had no idea what had happened to you after Heimdall's occupation. It's a huge relief to see you made it out okay. Funny. I was just as concerned for all of you. As for you, I believe it's the first time we've had the pleasure of meeting. You're Toval Randor from the Bracer Skilled, yes? One of Sarah's co-workers. Wow, you've actually heard of me. Though, to tell you the truth, I've heard more than my fair share of stories about you from Sarah, too. Kind of surprising to see you at the 4th Armored Division. She got in touch with us soon after the war broke out, in fact. She then mobilized the RMP to guide us to this proving ground so we could establish a base. All right, I'm not doing that. We wouldn't be here now if it weren't for her. Wow, really? I see your ability to make good quick judgments is still intact. Recognizing the divided division was of the utmost importance. I simply did what I had to do. I was concerned about his excellency and what was happening in the capital, but he always told me to act objectively in times of crisis. Oh, my, uh, my apologies, Captain. I almost forgotten she was right there in the capital when her boss was assassinated, and by none other than Crow. Oh, oh yeah, where's Instructor Nightheart anyway? I thought he'd be here with you, Dad. He hasn't been back to his this vision, no. We had no idea whatsoever of his whereabouts until a few days ago, but then he was finally able to get in contact and inform us that he was well. That's good news. Either way, it sounds like you can't be too careful. This base is held so far, but there's no guarantee that'll always be the case. I wish I could deny that. The Noble Alliance is starting to put more and more resources into trying to finish us off. We know how to deal with their soldats, which evens the odds, but we're at a disadvantage when it comes to supplies. True. This isn't the best location for getting outside help. The longer the war goes on, the harder it's going to be to hold out. That said, we have no intention of giving up without a fight. Our enemies have occupied the capital and effectively taken the citizens, as well as the Imperial family, hostage. Even should the goddess forgive them, I damn hell won't! You don't need to yell quite that loudly. Besides, I don't think you'll find many are, many who are willing to forgive them. Although, if anything, I'm just worried about how Fiona's doing. Yeah, I'm worried about my dad, too. I'm afraid I don't have any specific information regarding Heimdall's current situation. With control of the railways taken from us, we're limited on what we can actually do, I'm afraid. Sounds frustrating. Regardless, it's my turn to ask all of you something. Bearing in mind all you've discussed in mind, what do you tend to do from here on out? Well, good question. You don't have the raw power that the Alliance or the Imperial Army's got, but you've still got a pretty significant weapon at your disposal and one that neither side can afford to ignore. You need to think long and hard how you intend to use it. Oh, I completely agree. Craig's voice is giving me a stuffy nose. Valmar's power is incredible. That much is definitely true. 
These, p these past few days have left me with no choice but to accept what I have. He can take on multiple soldats at once and still come out on top. If used the right way, he could maybe even change the direction of this war. Keep in mind it's all dependent on the strength of his Awakener. I hate to saw toss aside the subject of war so frivolously, but we also need to find some way to rescue El, Elise, and Princess Outfit. If we focus on that, it makes perfect sense for us to support the Imperial Army and fight against the Noble Alliance, but... Lieutenant General, I'm afraid that we can't answer your question at the present time. At the very least, not until we've heard everyone's opinion. Oh? Hmm. We hate what the Alliance is doing as much as you. So in that sense, we want to do what we can to help you fight against them. But I don't think it would be right for just the four of us to side without everyone else's input. Yep. We need to find everyone else before making such a major decision. We make our decision together. That's how we roll. For now, we solely want to put our focus on finding the rest of our classmates. Then, only then, will we decide how best to approach this war. And what we as a class can do to end it. I see. Once a member of class 7, always a member of class 7. Ha <laughs> Can't seem all that surprised. Very well! You may have been separated from Thor's, but you still have every bit of the spirit of a student. And it is the duty of the students to absorb the world around them. Go forth! And when... And when you're all together, once again, find your role to play. Only then will I hear your answer. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dad. I apologize for not being able to give you a better and more immediate answer. Not at all. What you said was perfectly reasonable, Reen. You'll hear no objections from me. Whatever path you choose, I hope... <sighs> this person's voice has changed so much in the past, like, five minutes. Whatever path you choose, I hope you see it through the end. With all the inner strength and conviction of a son of Erebonia. That said, I'm conflicted about sending my dear Elliot away without proper protection. Should I send a company of troops with him? No. That might not be enough. He needs airships as well. Dad, stop. This is so embarrassing. He really is the most doting father I've ever seen. I bet 100 Mira, the war would be over in no time flat if the Alliance ever tried to kidnap Elliot. <laughs> well, in that case, how would you like me to accompany you? Oh? You, Captain? Are you sure? You're currently visiting Ymir. You're currently using your... Fuck. You're currently using Ymir as your base of operations, correct? Not only could I use my knowledge to better fortify it, I could also handle communications with other regions from there. That could be a good chance to reach out and find Millim as well. I haven't been able to contact her since the war broke out. Oh? Works for me, to be blunt. Ymir's borders are wide open, and the Alliance could take advantage of that at any time. We can't have another incident like with the Jaegers. Bringing her back just might be our best defense right now. I hate to admit it, but you're right. There's a limit to how much we can do. At the end of the day, we're students. We need to swallow our pride and take help for it's given. Especially from specialists like the two of you. And more important than that, I know we can trust you. You're right. Exactly. Captain Claire, we'd be honored to accept your offer. Welcome to the team. The pleasure's all mine. In addition to my duties as a member of the RMP... What the fuck? Okay, sure, whatever. I hereby pledge my support to everyone in Class 7. With Captain Claire agreeing to join, the, agreeing to join they began to make arrangements to leave the military proving ground. Once she'd explained that she had some preparations to take care of on her own first, however, they decided to stay for a short while longer. This gave Class 7 the perfect opportunity to explore the 4th Armored Division's base while they waited. Captain Claire joined the party. Reen and Claire can now use Overdrive when linked with one another. Oh my god. Like, I am slightly sad that my AP from 
Trails of Cold Steel 1 isn't pouring over to number 2. But at the same time, now I don't have to worry about it. Because like, if I don't get the highest rank, then, well, that's fine. It's not going to go over to 3 anyway. Well, then I suppose we might as well take a look around. We're meeting her in front of Valimar, right? That's right. We should head there as soon as we're finished up here. Got it. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Dad's up there looking after a couple of Thor students at the space camp. Really? That could very well be something we know. We should go and see if we can meet with them. I'm game, let's go. It's 9.20, so we have 10 more minutes left, everybody. I realize my, when my wife is here isn't commenting on the videos like in the last few years. Or I think I do. I don't know. I could have like 30 lurkers for all I know. Captain Claire is not here. Captain Claire, where are you? Good day, everyone. And may I just say what a pleasure it is to see you again, Elliot. Everyone here has been quite worried for you. Perhaps you could take the time to make the rounds and see them. Yeah, I will. Thanks, Brocken. I must say, though, that Divine Knight of yours is an impressive machine, sir. I hope you and it will be blessed with many more victories in the battles yet to come. Anyone in here? Hello, Craig. I'm not going to use this voice. I don't want to do that. As part of the Imperial Army, we have our own role to play in this war. We may not be able to fight alongside one another. If we're not on opposing sides either. I wish you all the best. I never thought the day would come when Elliot would demonstrate such an iron will, though. My boy, you've done your father proud. This isn't a big deal, Dad. Regardless, whatever path you chose to walk, choose to walk, I'm confident that you have the strength to see it through. I wish you all the best. Do, do, do. <laughs> I'm sorry we can't sit down to catch up, Elliot. I wish I had the time, but you know how it is. Work is work. Uh, don't worry about it. I know how busy you must be. You're not hurt or anything from the battle early, are you? You and your men were out there fighting, right? A battle, huh? You're not talking about those losers' pathetic excuse for an offensive, are you? Ha! <laughs> As if any of my men would ever suffer a bruise from a battle like that. Our blood is hot! Could melt clean through iron. I'll take much more than that than the lines of saying he's always to thrash us. Just smile or nod. It's all you can do when he gets like this. He does seem like the kind of guy who makes you feel awkward. So, did you see anything interesting in the assault? I assume you're referring to Zephyr's involvement. I'm curious about that as well. I also noticed that the Alliance soldiers showed more skill than usual handling their soldats. Indeed, it's possible the two are related. I plan to inform the Lieutenant General of my observations, so what about you? I'll go with you. SOMEONE needs to do an account of which of, of which of us delivered the best result this time. And you assume it's gonna be you? Very well then. Straight to the Lieutenant General we go. The truth will come out one way or another. Oh, skip that. Oh well, Darren. You'll live. I really am glad you're all right, Elliot. That just leaves Fiona to fret over now. Yeah, I hope she's okay too, but I have to admit I'm out more than a little anxious. Thanks for keeping this in your thought, Edmonds. Think nothing of it. Fiona has always been kind to us soldiers, so it really concerns me to know to not know how she's doing. Still, we'll do all we can to find her and make sure she's safe and sound. And I wish you well in whatever you decide to do. Thank you. Our division has no shortage of tanks. Normally, that'd be an advantage. But it also means we need more supplies for them. The Alliance has cottoned on that, and they're trying to use it against us, which is smart in their part, I'll admit. If we were sitting on a month's worth of supplies, we could sortie and take them out. But as things stand, we're stuck here. I'm Loke, and I'm in charge of security here. Just be clear, we're at war here. Assume nothing. Know your place, and above all, Listen to our instructions. That goes tripping for you, Racer. I know your type. Always thinking you can poke around in our business with some loophole or excuse to rummage up. Well, not on my watch. No, sirree. You best keep your nose out of trouble or you're gonna lose it. 
Do I make myself clear? Man, was it something I did? Sorry, it's not you. It's just always been like this. It's all about that strange. The army and the Bracer Guild aren't exactly cut from the same cloth. Our tanks are out. Our tanks are out on the other side of the west entrance. This means you should steer well clear of that area, lest you get in the way, which you probably would. You may not be ordinary civilians, but you're still civilians. While you're here, you'll do as I tell you. Okay, everyone. It's 925, which means we need to... Need to All right, everyone. It is 925, which means we need to start wrapping up for the day. All right. So what did we get done today? We finished the temple where we got fought the boss, which was not cherubs. Then we saw a door that had the same pattern as the ones we saw in the stone dungeon of the school. Once that was done, we then continued on our way down the by road. We got to Gorelia Fortress, where Fee met up with two of her Zephyr comrades from Yig from the core. And they're like, ah, how you doing? And then we fought them. And as fighting, I was like, ah, you know, this isn't gonna work. I can't fight these people. I'm not gonna win. And uh, so I reset the game. And then I changed some equipment over. And then I get to the fight. I was like, these people have a lot of HP. Like, because remember like the stone dragon and comrade C who also had a fuck ton of HP. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this, but we had to do it. Well, the same thing was with this. I saw them. I was like, I don't know if we can do this, but I guess we have to. Turns out, no, we just had to survive like three turns or whatever. Then the Soldots came about and we summoned Valimar, the Ashen Knight. And we fought all, oh, we fought three Soldats. We saw a sword from one of them. So maybe Valimar will have a sword from now on. Who knows? We'll just have to wait till he's summoned again. Then we met up with Craig or o o Olaf Craig, Elliot's dad. Claire joined, Claire from the RMP joined us and is going to go back to Ymir and handle communications with the other nations. Then, um, we were on a way to explore the base. So what can you expect next episode? Next episode, I am going to just, we're going to continue talking to everyone at the base. We might find a book. We don't know. We might find some people. That's really cool. But the main thing I think the game wants us to do is to find the people from the, from Thor's military academy to talk to. And we will eventually get to talk with them. I promise. Once that's done, um... We are going to go on our way to find everyone else. I don't know if next episode is going to be we're going to go on our way to wherever the next group of students is or if we have something else to do. I have no idea. My other question is, like, is it not? Are we are we not going to have a full party until like the all eight students of Thor's until like near the end of the game? Who knows? But that's what's going on. All right, everyone, if you like what you see, go ahead and give me a follow if you're on Twitch or a sub if you're on YouTube. Both help immensely. It's your way of telling me, Darren, I like what you're doing and I want more of it. Uh, and also just gives me a nice feeling as well. So if you could do that, that'd be great. If you really like what you see, consider telling your friends and family about me and how awesome I am. And just yeah, tell them how to you know, tell them how to watch me. I'm like, you know, Darren's pretty awesome. You might, you know, you might like him. If you really, really like what you see, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash active fireball. Speaking of patrons, thank you, Shoreline Viking, for the You Are Awesome tier. I appreciate it. Being a patron gets you cool shit like a uh, fuck fuck, a, um, a active fireball sticker in the mail if you want that. You get exclusive pay playtime with all of the other patrons, like in group games, once a month. You also get exclusive playtime with me once a month if that's something you'd like to do. You get Discord benefits and you get um, credits at the end of VODs. But right now I'm still not doing them because I only have one. So I'm just going to do that. I think once I get maybe like three, then I might. Maybe five. It depends how long it takes, right? Because there's a point where I'm like, okay, I'm tired of reading this. I'm just going to show it on the screen. So, yeah. That's what's going on. Come patron if you like it. Tell your friends and family or followers and subs. All of those are amazing. Trying to get to play. So I want to stream for you all more and play these games for longer. But I also have work. So if we could get to a point where I can just, like start streaming for longer and do less work, that'd be great. That out of the way. Um, uh, how many viewers do we have? We have 
one viewer, so we're not going to raid anyone at all. We had we actually had somebody watch for 18 seconds um, around like 8.45. That was fun. We had 10 views on YouTube, so I guess that was cool, I guess, whatever. Um, some days Windows is like, oh, you're only using, using one screen. Then once it does, it actually hides the docs um, for the multi-streaming, so... All right. Lurkers who are lurking, thank you so very much for lurking. Watchers who are watching, thank you so very much for watching. Bots who are botting, thank you so very much for botting. Love you all, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.